If your phone IBSPAN user trying to draw on a small smartphone screen is very difficult for beginners. As such, I suggest that you use an analog drawing like something that you have drawn on a paper as a starting point for your adventure into digital art. If you have a sketchbook, you draw something in there, printer or a notebook paper is also fine, draw as you normally do, then take a photo of it with your smartphone. Then tap the layer window in the main toolbar to open the layer window. Next tap the import from photo library that is the uh, icon of the camera and import the photograph of your drawing. Select your photo then open it. Selecting the photo activates a positioning mode. You can drag with one finger or if you're using a smart pen you can drag with your pen to move the photo. You can use two fingers like pinch to zoom in and out to change size. And for a Windows IBS Paint user, I put some hints in the description of this part uh, for moving, rotating and zooming uh, photos or your canvas, so make sure to take a look. If you want to rotate your photo, you can turn on rotation, then uh, rotate your photo with two finger. And when you're done, tap the done button, that is the green tick. Now we have three layers. The layer with the pink background is called the section layer. It is a special layer when you can use the brush or eraser to create selection areas. I recommend that beginners do not use this layer. Layers are an important aspect of digital art, so it is important to know a bit about them. As the name suggests, layers are like multiple sheets of clear film similar to those used in anime and cartoons. If you do the line drawing, coloring and create the background all on different layers, then the colors will not mix which is something that can be quite useful. It is also common to draw hair, skin, clothes and other parts on separate layers. The order of the layers is fixed, but you can drag the reorder handle up or down to rearrange the layers. As the photographs are not transparent, anything in a layer below them will not be visible. Now let's drag the photograph which is imported to the bottom and set the current layer to 2. If we import a sketch with dark strokes made by pen or something similar, then it will be difficult to see the lines that we want to trace over the top of them. In such a case, decreasing the opacity of the sketch layer will lighten the dark line. Now we want to change the opacity of the sketch layer from like 100 to 50. When we set the opacity, we uh, tap back button to close the layer window or we can just double tap on the layer we want to draw on. You can change the name of each layer to find them more easily. Open layer window, select the layer you want to change its name. Then tap on the three dots icon and next select rename layer. Now you can write your name for the layer you want. Now, as you can see, the name of the layer will be visible on the layer. Now, let's select Brush Tool in the Tool Selection window. And next, let's open Brush Setting window. And as you know, this is the property of the Brush Tool. Now, let's select the Deep Pen a Soft version. And in the right side, you can see the setting of the brush. There are the thickness of the start, the thickness of the end, and 
this start and end are the start and end of the line you draw with that brush. There are opacity of the start and opacity of the end and in the bottom there are thickness and opacity. It's possible to change the size and opacity by opening the brush properties window but you can also use the quick sliders as a shortcut. As you can see there are two sliders, one for thickness and one for opacity. Now let's trace. You can off or on the visibility of your layers by tapping on the eye icon. And that's it for today's tutorial. Hope you enjoyed and understood it. If you have any question or suggestion, please comment. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope to see you in the next part of this tutorial.